Okay. Good spit, Kenny. Here we are. Bottom of the second inning. Atlanta is leading one to nothing. Kenny Rogers is struggling oh, once a again. Is a bunt. Oh. Yeah, you had to hold up that throw. There was no one covering first base. Yeah. Bad play. Bad play. And, uh, geez, Deb, looks like the Braves got another run. So two nothing Braves, bottom of the second. Pretty good bunt. Rogers fielded it, but had but no nobody one covering first. Big mistake. Second baseman should have been there. Cecil Fielder was in for the bunt, but no one covering first. That's a mistake. Mental errors are not going to win championships. Jones and Blouser advance. So Rogers is once again in trouble. We have Danny Denny Nagel up at bat. Squares the bunt. Showing bunt. It's a good one. Another bunt. Oh, they got him at least. Runners advance. The Braves are threatening again. Not looking good for the Yanks here. They don't want any more runs on that board. They got enough of a hill to climb with a two to one game deficit. Nice bunt. Nice bunt down the third baseline. Oof. You know, Charlie Hayes made a good play on that. Wade, yes, he did. Wade Boggs sitting down. He's been a bit of a slump. So manager Joe Torre shaking up his lineup here today. And they were at least had coverage at first to make that out. 68 degrees in the stadium tonight in Atlanta. Big sweeping hook there. Not over though. No. Well, Keith Grissom has been hot in this series. Strike. Oh, yeah, that caught the inside corner. Yeah. One ball and one strike. Two out. Two men on. That's where Rodgers needs to pitch those righties because he's coming into them with that sidearm motion, and they got a clear view of the ball. Ball two. Two and one. Good stop by the catcher. Crowd is excited down there in Atlanta. Marquise Grissom has hit safely in all nine career World Series games. Dangerous. Whoa, up the middle. Right through everybody. Two men score. Whoa, looks like he just might have beaten that throw out. Four nothing, Atlanta. Too bad they don't have instant replay. See yeah. how that would have turned out. Look but at that crowd. They're on their feet. Graves are starting to sense it. Tory's looking worried. That was a nice hit up the middle. Yeah, he left that one out over the plate. Well, Rogers has to bear down. You never see an expression. He may look worried, but you never see... You know, Strike one. Nice sweeping curve. A lot of movement over and down. He's got good pitches, but yeah, they're hitting him. 0-1, oh two out. Still two out. Let's see a roller. Out at first. Okay. Two okay. Good play. End of the second. Four nothing. Atlanta. Yeah, Rogers has his head down on the way back to the dugout. Yeah, I don't blame him. He knows that the Yankees have quite a hill to climb here. So. So now we're sixth inning. 
We're in the top of the sixth. Big Daddy's at the plate. Cecil Fielder. Denny Nagel is on the mound. Yanks brought this guy over for power. All right, leaving. let's see what he can do. Foul ball. 0-2. Oh A little bit ahead of that one. You can tell that Fielder's swing is not exactly where he wants it, but they're a little bit nervous. They're looking to put runs on the board here. And they need them. They need them. Now we're 6-0 Atlanta. Yeah. In the top of the sixth. That's quite a hill to climb. Well, they're going to have to do it one run at a time. What's this? Fan through a paper airplane on the field? Yeah. Maybe they got a message for the Yanks on that yeah, one. Yeah, hopefully. Fielder looks intent. Big Daddy. Whoa. Inside. One and two. Good eye. He needs to swing at strikes. He needs to make that pitcher throw the ball over the plate. Bobby Cox really giving that gum a workout. Yeah, he is. Joe Torre as well. Not as much of a workout. Oh. Well, Joe Torre might be chewing on a meatball. You never know. <laughs> two and two on fielder. Braves taking their time. And there's Leo. Yeah, Leo the he's, rocker. He's rocking. Leo's rocking away in that dugout. Whoa, right. Big Daddy does the job. Gets past. Gets past the right fielder, and Jeter's on his way around the bases. And he scores. And so does Bernie Williams yes. following him up. Yankees finally on the board, 6-2. With that hop in the air pirouette that Bernie is known for. Oh, yes. It's like a deer running those bases, isn't he, Yes, Dad? he is. Yes, he is. It's quite something to behold. So Cecil Fielder came through for he the Yankees. He did. All right, no out. Yanks have a chance here. Yanks have a chance to break it open. Unfortunate play by Jerome Dye in the in Jermaine Dye, that is. Yeah. In right field, let that ball get by him. Giving the Yanks a glimmer of hope here. Let's watch Bernie tail around those bases. Here so that comes. was an error on die out there. Choo choo. Wow. Look, Bernie. Hit it, Look Bernie. at Bernie go. There he is. Full 360. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tori's getting happier, but you can't tell by his face. We got here. Is that the rock? That's oh, Charlie, Hayes. Charlie Hayes. Charlie Hayes. He's zero for seven in the series so far. Maybe he can uh, redeem himself here. Yeah, he's got some big shoes to fill coming in for Wade Boggs. Yeah, but Wade's been struggling, so. Line and to line. Line to right center. Okay, Dye cut that one off well. All but right. But Big Daddy scores. Not before Fielder comes across the plate. I tell you what, you have to have a good hit when you're going to be scoring Cecil Fielder yeah. <laughs> around the bases. That man is not yeah. known for his speed. Not with that butt, right? 6-3. 6-3. Six, three. Six, three. Yanks, are, Yanks are chipping away here at the Braves' lead. Yeah, Bobby Cox is walking out to the mound here, Dad. Nagel's coming out. Taking Nagel out. Nice piece of hitting by Charlie Hayes. Oh, yes. Stay tuned for the Fox 10 o'clock news immediately following oh, tonight's game. We're what is the, this? We're in the eighth inning now. No, uh, and there's a roller up the third base line that they let it run and it did not go foul. And that's Charlie. Charlie's back again. It's Charlie again. Good play, Charlie. Bad play for the Braves. 
Watch that ball. Watch that ball. Yeah. Oh, man. That Hugging looked that like line. it was going to bounce over that line. Yeah, that's a Yankee bounce for sure. Okay. They got All it. right. Runner on. They got a runner on. Nobody out. Eighth inning. Top of the eighth. Straw man up at the plate here. 6-3 Atlanta. No outs. Count is 1-0 on Strawberry. If there's somebody who can put it over the fence for the Yankees, this is the guy. He doesn't even need to hit it on the head of the bat. He's got some big power. Mark Wallers is on the plate now. It's on the mound for Atlanta. Mm, that was a good pitch. He blew it by him. Strawberry. One and one. Strawberry shaking his head as he walks away from that one. Yeah, that was his pitch. Oof. He's, Swung right over it. He's got that big hitch in his swing, but watch out if it connects. And he connects. Rip. To left. Single to left for Strawberry. Mm. Yanks got something going here. Nobody out. Two men on, Deb. Who do we got coming to the plate? Let's take a look. Strawberry's pleased with himself there for that one. Hayes to second. Strawberry on first. Yeah, he didn't try to pull that ball. He went with it right to left field. That's a good job. It was a pitch by pitch. Looked the bad on that one. Yeah, but that was the pitch right there. He got it over the outside corner. He connected. And went to left. First and second now. Is this Duncan? Mariano Duncan at the plate. Yeah, Mariano couldn't hold off on that one. Had him fooled way outside breaking ball. Looked pretty bad on that one. Duncan is 1 for 12 in the series so far. He's 0 for 3 tonight. Crowds getting into it. Good curveball. Oh, oh. Double oh, play. That, oh. Was a, that was a break for the Yanks. Wow. That, that bobble cost them a double play. They only got the runner at second. So it's now it's runners at the corners. One out for the Yanks. One out. Yanks can do something here. They can do some damage. One at bat at a time as the Yankees are rolling through here. Shortstop, not happy with them. And here we have and a pinch hitter. Pinch hitter. Well, Jim Leyritz was brought in um, in the sixth, a defensive replacement for Girardi. So let's see what he can do. Look at that stance. Pretty unique stance. Ooh. Oh, foul back. Good pitch to hit. He did get a piece of yeah. it. You know, Deb, what comes to my mind is last year, 1995, and Leyritz's home run against the Mariners. He's got a good shot over here, and he's a pretty confident hitter. Yes, he is. He's yes, a fast, he is. fastball hitter as well. Hope he's having flashbacks. Oh, hi. One and one. He's looking at his bat, getting himself set. He looks focused. He definitely does. Look at that intensity in the dugout. Chew and her cud. Mm -hmm. Tino and Girardi. Ooh, high again, two and one. High breaking ball. Waller's lost control of that one. Okay, the count is in Laritz's favor now. As we have two runners on, two and one count. That's a batter's count. One out. Anything can happen here. Wallers delivers. Big Ooh. fastball down the middle of the play, and I think that 
Lairich knew that he had a pitch right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Count evens out, Joe, two and two. He did foul it straight back, so he was just about on that pitch. But will he get another one like it? Hopefully he adjusts. Wallers is in charge here. He's a good fastball pitcher. There's a battle here. Oh, um, fouled off. He was lucky to get a piece he of that. He was very lucky. He reached out to get a piece. Yeah, he had him fooled way out in front. So, Leyritz does a little bit of a blink on that pitch there. What do you think Wallers is coming in with next? Um, well, he's a fastball pitcher. Leyritz likes that, so... He's a fastball hitter, so let's see what he can do. He's at the set. 86 mile an Wait hour. Wait a minute. Whoa. It is gone. A three-run homer. Wow. Top of the eighth, and Jim Laritz takes a trot around the bases. And ties the game for the Yanks. He's done it again, Deb. The whole team is on the field greeting him at home, home plate. Yankees take a deep sigh of relief on that one. Coming all the way back from a 4-0 deficit. Amazing. Never count the Yanks out. Never count them out. Let's watch that replay. High breaking ball. He waited yeah. on it. That was an 86 mile an hour breaking ball. He was, he was on that pitch. When he got to first base, he knew it. So it's over the wall. Even Climbing though. the wall there. Andrew Jones tried to go over the stadium yes. to get that one. He couldn't quite make it. The whole team is up. Well. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, Joe? You know. They'd tie it up here. You're not kidding. That certainly changes the momentum of the game. Six, nothing. Now tie game in the eighth inning. And the Braves still got to get out of this one. The Yanks are still up. And they have momentum. Jim Lehrer's getting a smooch there from Jeff Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of hugs and kisses in the dugout. Oh, there's some defensive changes coming in here now. Charlie's going over to first base. Yeah. Charlie Hayes. Andy Fox is taking over third. We are in, oh, now we're in the ninth inning. And look who's on the mound, the young kid. Mariano Rivera on the mound for the Yanks. There's a short pop. Handled by Jeter. You know, Deb, uh, it just shows the Yankees' confidence in this young kid, Rivera. They got their closer in the bullpen, and they're using him. He's been a good setup man for them all year. He has. He has. He has a good future ahead of him, I think, with the Yanks. They certainly believe so. He's a pesky little left-handed hitter in Mark Lundy. Yeah. He's 5 for 16 in the series so far. Well, Yanks are certainly hoping to get through this half inning and get another shot at the Braves pitching staff. One out here. That was an unusual pitch for Rivera. You don't usually see off-speed stuff from this guy. One and one. Count evens. That's the high cheddar, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> Seems that the batters can't catch up to that fastball. It gets in on their hands before they even know it. Oh. One and two. 
That ball was by him before he even thought about he swinging. Didn't, he couldn't even blink. Bobby Cox getting a little bit nervous now. Up the middle. That bounding ball had eyes. Up Jeez. the middle. Bernie plays it. But we have man on first now for Atlanta. So. One out, one on. Braves got a chance. That's the winning run represented on first base there. Ninth inning. Like it had eyes. There it goes. Yeah. Find that hole. Bottom of the ninth. Yankees have to hold this guy if they hope to win. Yeah, Lemke did his job. Chipper Jones up now. Coming up next. Chipper. Chipper's big for the for the Braves. Oh yeah. He's, He's been, clutch. He sure is all year long. Bobby's hoping Chipper comes through again. Yes, Rivera holding Lemke on a first. Yeah, that's let you know I'm thinking about you. Lemke with decent speed at first base. But with a slugger like Chipper Jones at the plate, you don't really want to send this guy. Take the bat out of his hands. No. But Mariano is holding him. Holding him on. He delivers. You know, Deb, they had a, a graphic just flash across the bottom of the screen. The Braves have won 23 games this year in their last at-bat. Boy. So is this deja vu all over again? Hopefully not. Graham Lloyd is warming up in the bullpen. He Got had, a cut at that. He had a good cut at that one. Just under it. One and one. One out. Bottom of the ninth. Braves are hoping Chipper comes through here. Pulls out the victory for them. And behind him, they got Fred McGriff, who's hot as can be. High. Two and one. That was a mighty high one. Okay, this at bat switches, and now Jones has the upper hand. Yeah. But Rivera doesn't look shaken. He's no, a he has his composure, always. He sure is for a young man. He's got a nice clean shave as well. He does. <laughs> oh, high again. Well. Now it's really, are they going to give Chipper the green light here? You think, Joe? I think you have to. If he gets his pitch, you can't you can't make him hold off. Three and one count, it's the odds are definitely in Chipper's favor. Rivera's gotta come through with something something to get by him, but not down the middle of the plate because you can kiss that one goodbye. He's got some tricky pitches though. Oh, walked him. That's three high fastballs yeah. in a row, and it seems He that, can't find the plate. Yeah. I, it looks like that Rivera's trying to overthrow that and blow it by him. Stottlemyre coming out to talk to Rivera here. We got a dangerous situation. Fred McGriff has been tattooing the Yankee pitching staff tonight. So now we have two men on. Atlanta has two men. Oh, Torrey's coming out. Yeah. Torrey's coming out. Which means Rivera's coming out. Looks like that's it for Mariano here. He's given the left-handed sign. Graham Lloyd's been warming up in ah. the bullpen. And here he comes. The tall... Is he South African, Joe? Or uh, Australian? I think he's Australian. 
He's a tall drink of water. Is that what they say, a tall drink of water? He is. He's a specialty pitcher, though. Yeah, they bring him in for, like, one, one out, right, usually? They need, they'll usually bring him in to face a lefty, and that's just what they're doing here. Mariano looks a little dejected in the dugout. Foul ball. That big sweep in motion that Lloyd has when it's when he's sidearming it at six foot seven and coming in on a left hander, you don't want to be anywhere near the plate. But he's an intimidating pitcher for lefties. He is. Lloyd generally does his job, the one he is hired to do. Yeah, and the closer's warming up in the bullpen. You don't really want to have to bring your closer in on the road over here, but the Yanks don't have much of a choice. They need the big man on the mound if Lloyd can get through this batter. Well, that was low for a ball. Big, one and one, big. one out, two men on. That's a big breaking ball. Tense. It's a tense situation here for the Yanks. Joe Torrey's chewing on the roll aids. <laughs> Again, low. Two and one. That was a good eye from McGriff. That pitch would have had most guys swing. Yeah. Um, he held off. They do not want to load the bases with one out. Oh, oh that's nice great. Jeter. play. Jeter. Double play. Well. What Lloyd a, gets out of the inning. What a job by Graham Lloyd. Derek Jeter came up with a big play that took a, it looked like it took a, uh, an unusual hop up into his midriff, but the Yanks turned a double play. He stayed with it. Look at that throw to first. Really nice turn of that throw. Charlie play. plays it well at first. So here we got the 10th inning and our hero, the Yankee hero of the night is back up at the plate. Jim Lairitz against the lefty Steve Avery. We're in the top of the 10th now. Steve Avery, 7 and 10 this season. 4.47 ERA. Leyritz swings and misses. 0 and 2 count. We're looking back here at the 8th inning. Yeah. Uh, what a blast. Leyritz hit in the 8th okay, no. inning to tie it up. You know, in this situation, you can toss all your ERAs and everything else right out the window because this is batter against pitcher right here and now. Leyritz is getting set. He's got two strikes on him. Well, that was called the ball. One and two. He almost had him going on that He one. did. Leyritz's wife, perhaps. And... Thrown out at first. So. Yeah, Terry Pendleton handled that bouncing ball pretty easily. Tie score here. One out. Yanks really want this victory. They don't want to go down three games to one in Atlanta. No, no way. And the Braves don't want the Yankees tying it up in their mm -hmm. home park either. Uh, the pitcher's up now. They're sending Graham Lloyd up. They're sending Lloyd up. Well, we got. I no don't know what kind. Of, you know, if that's a good move. I guess they have confidence in him for the bottom of the inning. This is his first career plate appearance. So, how much confidence could you have? Well, maybe he's looked there to work a walk yeah. or, or stick his head out in front of the plate. <laughs> maybe he's so tall they'll just call everything low and walk him. You know, that's a pretty good cut from Graham Lloyd. He must be taking BP. <laughs> John Wetland's putting his warm-up jacket back on in the bullpen. Watch this swing. Yeah, not a bad cut. Not good. a bad cut. It sure doesn't look like a pitcher. And he's got Avery Wonder in here. Ball two, two and one. Who do we have on deck? Oh, slow roller. 
thrown out at first. So Lloyd's down. Yeah, two outs for the Yanks. John Wetland does not look happy in the bullpen. Seems that the Yanks want to stay with Lloyd, otherwise they certainly wouldn't have had him come up to the plate. Tim Raines now at the plate. Let's see what Tim can do here. Two outs. Raines is 0 for 5 tonight so far. Great teammate, though. And oh, he's, he's a, great. And he's a clutch hitter as well, so the Yanks... He can do him. something here. Outside, ball one. Way outside. One and oh. He didn't even have to think about swinging at that one. He's in, uh, he's in the spotlight here. A little bit high, 2-0. And, oh. and you notice that Avery's keeping the ball away from him. He doesn't want to come in to the right-hander because Reigns does have good power to left field. Pitcher is shaking off the catcher here. Again, a little bit high. 3-0. and 3-0, oh. you, know, you got to let him take this pitch. Green light now for Reigns, I'm sure. Well, I think we're different on that one. I don't want him swinging this one. I want to run around first. Oh, and it was outside. He walked him, he walked him on four pitches. But that's why you and I are in the booth and not sitting on You're the bench. right. And Leo's going to start rocking now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should. <laughs> yeah, four, four pi pitch walk. Out, high and outside, outside and high. And four pitches outside. He was staying away from Reigns as inside. Yeah. Now we have Jeter coming to the plate. Three, three for 11 in the series. One for three tonight. He had a single earlier. Oh, he took a big cut at that. This is a rising star for the Yanks. He certainly is. A young man has a lot of composure. Such a nice young man, too. Good hitter, good fielder. Lots of talent there. The Yanks are all in on Jeter as well. Yeah, he could become big in the Yankee organization. You never know. That pitch came right oh. across the plate, and Jeter was a little bit late on it. Yeah, he fouled that off. 0-2 now. I think he was trying to go to right field, but didn't quite come around fast enough. 0-2, two, two out. Right, we got to run around first. Bobby's feeling like this is in the bag here, I think. Oh, Avery's got that left-handed tricky motion to first. Let Reigns know that he's got yeah. his eye on him. Holding Reigns on it first. And if you're the Yanks, you got to think about sending Reigns down to second base. He's a speedster. Quick oh. flip. Wow. It's a good thing that McGriff reached over and caught that one. We would have had a runner on second. Yeah. You think the Yanks would chance it now, Joe? Go. Well, Send him Reigns. If they want to score a run, they need a guy in scoring position. It, and Reigns is a veteran. I think they would give Reigns the green light if he sees a pitch that he can go on. One and two on Jeter. Let's look at that pitch again. Yeah, that was outside. Looked outside, but Jeter has that motion that makes him look like yeah, he's, it does like every he's, time. Like he's being fooled every time. Outside Way again, outside. two and two. Kid has good back control. And you know that he's thinking about going to right field. He's leaning that way. And they know it too. The Braves know it. And Avery's still pitching him outside, so we'll see what happens here. Fouled it off. I think he had him fooled a little bit on that, but yeah. it looked like ball three to me. Count remains two and two.
I just saw Bobby Cox blink. I mm-hmm. wonder what that means, Deb. There's a ground ball. There, ground ball through for a base hit. Runners on first and second. Clutch hit by Jeter. Very clutch hit. So the Yanks do get their guy in scoring position here. That was a pretty good breaking ball that Avery threw. And Jeter just got enough of it to eke it past the yes. shortstop. That ball had eyes, too. It sure did. Chipper Jones is spitting on his own hand. <laughs> so Bernie's coming up now. Well, Bobby Cox is out on the mound. Is he going to leave Avery in? He's got the switch hitter Bernie Williams in there, so it doesn't matter who he brings in to He's face him. He's leaving him in. Leaving Avery in. What did he say to him? What do you think he said to him? Dave? Don't give him anything to hit. That's what I think. What do you think, Joe? I think it would be something similar myself. Steady Bernie Williams up at the plate here. I think that they would... Um, you know, sooner walk Bernie because Andy Fox is oh, on deck. You so. called it. It looks like Williams is going to get an intentional, intentional walk. Intentional walk. Andy Fox on deck. So what would you do in that situation? Wouldn't you put Bernie on and let take your chances I'd with Fox? I'd rather face Andy Fox than Bernie Williams any day. But right. will the Yankees let Fox come up to the plate? That's the story. So they're going to put the go-ahead run over to third base. They're going to load the bases. Bases loaded with Yanks. Big ma- and they're look calling, at this. They're calling Fox back. Wade Boggs is coming into the game. Boggs has been struggling. You know, this guy's been waiting his entire career for an opportunity like this. And I think that the Yanks are making a good move. Let's see what he can do here, Joe. He's one of the best hitters in baseball. And that's why the Yankees got him. That's why he wanted to come to the Yankees. Yes, he did. To get his chance at a World Series. Yes, sir. A Boston Red Sox player. Sometimes I have difficulty seeing Wade Boggs in a Yankee uniform. Me too. I got to say it. Not that I have anything against them, but it looks odd. Let's see what Boggs can do. He can redeem himself here. He's not been bad. He is three for eight in the series so far, but he's been in a bit of a slump. And we know why he's up here now. This is a singles hitter. He can spray the ball anywhere he wants to. And that's all we need here. That's all the Yanks need. I don't mean to be partial here. I know you don't. Just comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> And that was a ball. Ball to Boggs. 1-0. Two out. Bases loaded. Top of the 10th inning. Lefty versus lefty here. You couldn't ask for more excitement. Okay, Boggs takes a strike. One and one. Wade's talking to himself. He knows what he has to do. He just wants a strike that he can place out somewhere. Oh, big cut. Yep, that was a two. One and two. Great hitter with two strikes, Deb. Tough to get the ball by once he's, got, once he's down. We'll see what Avery has up his sleeve. Oh, did he go? Oh, if he called no, he did ball, not. He did not go. Uh, Check swing. That looked pretty close. Oh, uh, no. No, he, he didn't go. He did not go. Good call by the umpire. Yes. That's why they got him out there. Ball three. Full now. count on Wade Boggs. Now, now what? Now the, the Braves need to throw a strike. 
Yes, they do. Otherwise, we're going to walk in and run here for the Yankees. Nowhere to put Boggs. And oh, he, they walk in and run. He did walk him. And Rain comes in to tap on the plate. Wow. Yankees go ahead. Walking in the go-ahead run. And Joe Thorey had a cathartic moment there on the pitch. <laughs> Joe Thorey? Joe, Th <laughs> Joe Tari. In his throat. <laughs> He's, he was smiling through his teeth. <laughs> yes, look at those Yanks. Oh, they'll take that run anyway. They, they are excited. Lots of hand slapping and hugging and High jumping five. around. All over the place. And there's Boggs. He didn't get his hit, but he Manny, got, he got that RBI. He gets the RBI, and the Yankees are ahead. Seven to six, and Avery comes out. Yeah, Boggs ha was able to hold off on that, on that uh, ball three that wound up saving him a strikeout and ending the inning. Yep. And Steve Avery is contemplating uh, what could have been. Right. Bobby Cox as well. If he should have taken Avery out a little sooner. Charlie Hayes. It's a, whoa. whoa. And the Yanks. That's Ryan Kes Klesko. Who got fooled by that little knuckleball of a, of a pop-up. Yanks get a gift here, and the Braves are coming apart at the seams. They got rattled with that walk. He didn't handle that pop fly there, Klesko. You know, I think yeah. he... He lost it in the lights? I think the lights bothered him on that one. Yeah. He couldn't see it. He looked like he was putting his glove up to shade his eyes. Yeah, he didn't know where that ball was falling yeah. in. You hate to see that, though. No matter which team. Now, the straw man is up. Well, you know where he's trying to go yeah. with this pitch. We have 0-1, two outs. So Jeter scored on that play. He sure did. The Yanks are ahead by two. On that error. Did they score that in an error? I'm sure, right? Yeah, that's an error. Yeah. So a walk in an error bring the Yankees two runs and put them ahead. There's John Wetland, the closer, warming up in the bullpen. Yeah, with the Yankee lead, they're going to want to bring him out for the bottom of the 10. Definitely. Two and one on Strawberry. Two outs. Eight to six. And there's Ted Turner, the owner of the Braves, in the stands, not looking too happy. Not at all. Oh, wait a second. Whoa. <laughs> That's the end of the game. <laughs> they fast-forwarded us to the end of the game, and look at this. And the Yankees win. The Yankees win. Yeah. Look George, at George. George Steinbrenner up in the box there is quite pleased with the way the Yanks were able to come back. Is that Reigns making the final out of the game? And almost stayed on his feet. What a game, game four here in Atlanta. And this series will get back to New York and Yankee you know, Stadium. Deb, Our Chevrolet player of the game is Jim, Jim Leyritz. And he should be the player of the game. In inning I tell you, eight, he gave them a chance. He sure did. Once they tied it up on that home run, it. it seems the like the air went out of the Braves. The back after trailing early Absolutely. By six. They win game four. That was eight quite a six, shot. And tomorrow night, game five. Well, tomorrow night, we'll play game five. Andy this Pettit. series has turned into it's quite Pettit an exciting and event. Smoltz, a game one rematch in game five. Pettit pitching tomorrow, tomorrow for the Yanks. Night, beginning yeah. at so they have Eastern. a good chance to win with him tomorrow. It looked like the Braves were going to walk one home for after all of those us first Fox two Sports, victories. We say good night from Atlanta. We'll see you tomorrow And the night. Yankees are happy tonight. Happy team. Good right. night, Joe. Good night, Deb. We'll catch you tomorrow night. Always a pleasure. See Same you back. Same here.